you're a beautiful woman. It's men that when me and Queen go out, it's men that look at her like she gorgeous. I just want to know why leave the people that been down for you since day one. You know why? Why leave the people that that's been rocking with you since day one? I ain't never did nothing to her. Queen used to call me up and be crying on the phone like this nigga threw a shoe at my head. You know what I'm saying? And baby Chris in the back crying. And you don't let the public see that. But you let the public see the stuff where it's like, for real? Not everybody. Not you the laughing stock. You know what I'm saying? You, you the laughing stock. Hi G Squad. Welcome back to the channel. So today is another reaction video. So guys, most of you guys have been forwarding me the um, videos that both of Queen's ex-best friend. My brain actually froze. That um, both of Queen's best friend made stating how Queen is, has changed since she became famous and this and that, the third. So I'm just here because most of you guys want me to react to it, number one. And number two, because I just feel like I have something to say about this, okay? I really do. I really do feel like I have something to say about all this, okay? So we're going to be watching the video on my phone, okay? We're going to be watching it on my phone. And you guys, are, of course, are going to see it on the screen somewhere right here. So yeah, the video is by her first best friend. I think her name is Nakwisha or something like that. So yeah, we're going to react to her first. And I also heard that there's her second best friend that said something as well. So we're going to react to hers um, after this one, okay? But that's going to be in another video. But first, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You already know. And also, if you already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever your girl upload a video. Sorry, my sister keep calling me and I'm actually recording, I don't want to pick up, so I keep declining her call. But yes, guys, um, give it a thumbs up if you like it and also share it around, okay? Like, we have to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the month and we are already, like, a week away from the end of the month or something. Yeah, about that, that like six days, something like that. Yeah, so we need to make this happen, okay? I know we can do it. G-Squad is the best squad out here. We're getting there, okay? All right, let's get right into the video. I'll try my best not to say too much about the topic because um, I want you guys to hear everything and, you know, understand how this girl is feeling and also tell me what you guys think about the whole situation, okay? In the comment section, of course. Now let's get right into this video. This one, but I'm gonna tell you guys something, okay? It's, it's a hard subject. She so looks hurt, this, this, obviously. This she looks you know, this ain't the hurt. It doesn't this look like she want to gain any fame, um, fame from this. And um, I like Chris and Queen, mostly I'm Queen, but on, uh, I still feel like you guys need to consider what she's saying. Chris and Queen. Uh, these people have been in my life, you know, for for a long time. Just give me a second. Let me get everybody on here real quick. I can end up in my chain up. All right. Dang. Everybody like, what she about to say? I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all, I promise. I got something. All right. Whoever else I ain't mentioned, my bad. Okay. Now I got something to talk about. All right. So as y'all know, me and Queen, we have been friends for a very long time. You know, we've been friends since middle school. In middle school, um, we met, we was about, I was about 12, 13 years old. And me and her was like this, you know what I'm saying? 
And I'm sorry if I if I start getting emotional in this, you know, this video. Because me and, you know, me and this girl have been rocking strong. I'm not on here to bash her. I'm not on here to bash her at all. Her and her relationship. As y'all know, her she recently got cheated on. Okay. Um, I just feel like with her distance and herself from everything is really taking a toll on her. Like I understand you get you know what I'm saying, the privilege to, to travel. I understand you get the privilege to not be around people that you don't want to be around no more. That's fine and daisy, but why leave out the people that's always been there for you in your life? You know, why why take upon yourself and shut down people that you know that's close to you? Like, me and Queen have been through everything. You know, we've been through so much. And it's just like, I don't get why she is belittling herself. I feel like she belittling herself because of the simple fact. It's like, why is you letting this man do something like this? You know, why is you letting this man take advantage of you like this? Why is you, this wasn't the queen that I met. You know what I'm saying? Like the queen that I met, if somebody would have did this to me, she would have been like, boo, what is you doing? Like straight up. But I just feel like because it's Chris, you know, it's okay. It's okay for you to belittle yourself. You're a beautiful woman. It's men that, when me and Queen go out, it's men that look at her like she gorgeous. I just want to know, why leave the people that been down for you since day one? You know, why why leave the people that, that's been rocking with you since day one? I ain't never did nothing to her. Queen used to call me up. And be crying on the phone like this nigga threw a shoe at my head. You know what I'm saying? And baby Chris in the back crying. And you don't let the public see that. But you let the public see the stuff where it's like, for real? Not everybody. Not you the laughing stock. You know what I'm saying? You, you the laughing stock. It's because God know who you are. You, I feel like this is the only way that I could talk to her. Because of the simple fact, I didn't left Snapchats. For her, I didn't left voicemails for her. I didn't text her phone. I didn't got in touch with her sister Tina. I didn't try to. And me and her mama like we beeped out because of what? Because I'm real. Because all these other females then left your side, but I'm always here. You know where Markeisha at? Don't play with me like that. You know where I'm at. And I and it hurts me so bad. It hurts so bad to look back at a picture and to be like, that was my best friend. You know what I'm saying? That was somebody that, that I cared about. That's somebody that fought that fought for me. And I fought for her. And to see you live in lavish, and I can't even, you know what I'm saying, support it. My last time talking to Queen was March. And she said, I know you're going through a lot. She said, I know it. She said, soon as I touch down, I swear, me and you going to be there. We going to be there. With or without Chris, because I have no problem with Chris. I don't have no problem with nobody, but the simple fact, if you're going to cheat on my friend and do some disrespectful stuff like that, and she's still talking about some, but we married because of CJ, that ain't what a marriage is, boo. Because of your baby, that ain't what a marriage is. People don't stick together because of a baby. They stick together because they love each other. Just like friendships stick together because we love each other. Not because, oh, you got money and you got fame and you got success. I don't care about none of that. Queen, because I was there with you when you didn't have nothing at all. I was there when them girls... Was uh making fun of you at skating and stuff. You know what I'm saying? When these girls, they make fun of because your hair poofy and stuff. They make fun of because, oh, you look weird. You Arabic. You don't know your daddy. I was there. I fought for you. And everybody know that I'm the type of person that's going to fight for somebody. You're not going to sit here and talk about nobody that I love. You're just not going to do it. And if I have to go live and I have to get my views up like this in order for you to see me, I might not get up to 2 million like you do on YouTube. I might not get to 1,000. But... You need to hear this. You know what I'm saying? You need to hear this. And it hurts so bad to sit here. Everybody always asking me, what's up with Queen? You know, where, where, where Queen at? I don't know. I can't even I can't even sit here and tell y'all unless y'all watching her YouTube. That was like my sister. When her when her stepdaddy used to rape and put his hands and molest this girl, she used to come to me and cry. She used to have the Christmas lights up in her room. She used to have all these little Christmas lights up in her room. And she used to sit there and say, Keisha, why me? I said, it's not going to be like that. When she was in American Idol, 
I was the one called her right after she got off the show and was like, you okay? She said, I'm good. I'm just nervous. Everybody always know when you seen Queen, you saw Markeisha right around the corner. And that's why it hurts so bad because it's like, why? What the what what did I do? You know what I'm saying? Like I calls and check on you. Your mama tell me stuff like, leave Queen and Chris alone. Get out their life. But you don't even like Chris. You don't even like this nigga for a can of paint. At least I actually sat down and talked to him. You know what I'm saying? You you being petty. You borrowing money from me. Queen Mama just borrowed some money from me in February. Talking about, I need some money. You know what I'm saying? I, I need some gas money. Because Queen and Chris was over here and they, they, didn't, they didn't support me at all. But don't y'all don't tell social media stuff like that. Y'all tell them the bull, the fake stuff. Don't tell me no fake stuff. I want to hear all the real. And I know everybody's shaking their head like, yeah, that's true. Don't geek your life up if it ain't true. Because I'm going to tell you right now. This is how you know I'm not trying to get famous. I could care less about this. I could care less about this. And everybody know that when you cross me, I'm done with you. Obviously, me and her ain't got no beef because I'm sitting over here. How many times have I ever made a live video about me and somebody? Never. Never. I don't even get on live like that. So what you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Queen. I love her to death. Like, I'm the one that put up her first talent show where people discovered that she ain't even seen. They didn't even know she had a beautiful voice like that until I put her out there. I said, you can do it. She's sitting there, boo, I can't do it. I'm scared. I said, you can do it. Yes, you can. Don't you ever let nobody tell you you can't. She said, okay, forget it. And that's when we came out. And I got pictures to prove all this in case somebody think I'm lying. But me and that girl was tight. You know what I'm saying? When she moved out to Romulus and she got in touch with this little girl named Angela, what people don't know is Chris, that is her best friend, her ex-best friend, that is her ex-best friend's ex-boyfriend. Yes. And I just told it just like it is. Yes. That's who Chris is. So at the end of the day, who loyal? Because I never do that to one of my friends. I got two best friends, Lania and Shayla, and I never do it. I never, oh, well, you done with him, let me have him. Never in my character. Never. So for you to sit here and make it seem like I'm the bad person, I'm bashing you, it's not going to happen. Because God got me. Whether I see Queen again or not, which I got a feeling I might in lifetime, but if I don't, I want you to just know that I'm always here for you. And I know you out there, you ain't got nobody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, don't nobody know you for you. Don't nobody know that sweet side, that Habibi, you know, all that crazy stuff you used to say. Shumana, humana, humana, humana. Don't nobody know that side of you. I know that side of you and I knew you before you got into your little prime age where you start people say it's smelling yourself but I just say it's discovering yourself it's like this man I mean if y'all got some real friends and your friends move on to success or whatever the case may be all I'm saying is you know I just feel like don't leave the real people behind you know don't leave the real people behind please do not leave them behind because you gonna need them in the long run you going to need them. you going to really need them in the long run. And for a lot of people who, who think that this is a joke right here, me talking all of this is a joke, you can get your ass up off my life. That's just how I feel. Because I'm not about to sit here and argue with no people that don't know the people that I know. If you don't know her like I know her, you shouldn't even be talking right now. Y'all over here saying, y'all making these posts about uh, Chris, oh, he a deadbeat and he this, and because of him, we can't trust no niggas. You know how long that they've been going through that? It's just the first time y'all heard because somebody actually spoke up about it. Could you see, like, them three girls not saying nothing at all? Y'all wouldn't even knew this. And y'all still be like, oh, relationship goes. That's fine, but it's just like, be honest with me. You know what I'm saying? If, if you can't give me the whole truth, don't say nothing at all. Just because, that, yeah, you're right. My cousin is right. Just because you have a baby with somebody, it does not mean you obligated because... Like I said, I'm putting it all out there. I'm putting it all out there. When Queen first got pregnant, um, you know what I'm saying? She told me Chris had proposed to her before that. He proposed to her before that. And she said no. Before she got pregnant, she said no. I said, Queen, why? You love him. She said, because Markeisha, I'm not ready. Chris is not the one for me. He is not, he is not the one for me. She said, I feel it in my heart. I do. But she said, sometimes I don't. Soon as she got pregnant with CJ, what did she say? I do. A baby do not keep a relationship together. Y'all need to learn that. It does not make a marriage stronger. It does not keep a relationship together. So whoever don't agree with that, I'm sorry, I can't help you. But I'm a friend first. And if Queen ever need me, I'm right here. I'm just angry. That's the only reason I went live. Now, she can't call me and say, oh, 
Why did you go live? Why did you do this? Why would you do that and you know I'm this and I'm that? Because you were supposed to be loyal first. You take care of home before you go out. Like I said, I'm not trying to come between nobody marriage, but at the end of the day, that was my sister. You do not leave your family out like that, bro. You don't do that. You don't do that and try to adopt these other YouTubers in this big old mansion that y'all so-called got. Y'all got these cars and these mansions, but you didn't left your family. Where Reva at? Where your mama at? She at home. She at home probably crying sick because she can't see her daughter every day. Because you want to leave. Where Tina and Terrell at? They got to go to school and hear this social media stuff. Y'all y'all not hearing where I'm what I'm talking about. You're not hearing it. Y'all just not hearing it. You, and then that's what Chris said in the video. He said... Um, I'm tired of this fake relationship. He said it's it's fake. And that's true. It is fake because y'all need to be handling why CJ don't know his ABCs by heart. Why he don't know this. Why he don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Don't focus on us on social media because whoever love you going to be there until the end of time. They going to be here. People cheat in their marriage all the time. Yes, they do. But at the same time, they get married for the right reasons. And if you do not love that person enough to get married to them, don't do it because you got a baby or because you're afraid of what the church might say. You doing it because you're afraid of what the church might say? I'm sick of seeing every other post about bashing Chris. Stop bashing him, y'all. Only reason y'all know about it is because somebody actually got up and said it. Yeah, okay. He might be a cheater. And? Some of you niggas out here still cheating on y'all wife, sitting there talking about, well, he's stupid because he got caught. No, them girls was tired of feeling like that. That one girl that said that she had feelings for Chris, she got tired of feeling like that. And don't nobody, and I put this on God, don't either one of, like, uh, what's that one girl? Nari. She don't know Queen like I know Queen. You know what I'm saying? Her whole church, church family, they don't know her like I know her. I've sat there and cried with this girl. I've sat there and pleaded this girl to just go to Christ and just and just let God hear her talk. She doesn't have nobody out there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what else to say about it because it is sickening. And I hope somebody tag her in this. Share this video. Please share this video. Let her hear this because it's not just me who feel like this. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that know Queen. She don't even admire y'all, do she, LP? Do she, Melvin Dale? Do she, Romulus? She don't even admire y'all no more. Y'all is a nobody to that girl. Y'all is nobody to her right now. Why? Because her head is so filled up with the devil spirit on her. She forgot about God. You know, I just... How? How do you forget about people that fed you? You know, how how do you forget about people that cried with you when Chris was beating your ass? And then you want to say, oh, Chris ain't never did this. He ain't never did that. No, she ain't never turned her back on us. She really don't. She, she turned her back on us. Um, I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not here to bash her, Lachey. I'm not, but it hurt. It hurts when you sit in here and your friend telling you stuff like, I'm going to fly you out to Texas. I'm going uh, to see you. You know what I'm saying? It, it hurts for them to sit up there and say, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this for you. I'm going to do this. And each and every time I get excited, like Queen back. You know, she really back, y'all. She really back. She not back. She's not back. And it's sad because this is the same girl that used to be in middle school kissing other girls. This is the same girl that was in middle school just trying to find herself, just trying to live life to the fullest. And yet, now she blow up because her and Chris got this little deal. It's like, forget everybody who was real. And I can't I can't put up with this no more. You know, I, I can't. I can't. I'm I'm so hurt right now. I'm I'm more so hurt than angry, you know, because I just watched this video of him admitting you know, and if Chris want to be free queen, then you, you got to let that man go. You got to let him go. Sometimes they say, oh, you don't know what you got into is good. And he was this close to losing it. But guess what? He hasn't lost it yet. So he doesn't understand. So guess what, boo? He going to do it again. He going to do it again. You better hope you don't catch nothing while that little nigga out there doing that. I'm going to just put it to you like that. And I mean, true friends is like. It's hard to find them. You got somebody that's going to rock with you and feed you. And they and it's things like this that, that I think about with Queen. Like, you used to want to sneak over boy's house. And I used to cover your back. You know what I'm saying? Keisha, I'm about to go here. Oh, my God. You think I should go here with such and such? And I'm just like, be safe, you know? Just be safe. I got your back, but be safe. Let me know at least where you at. Just be safe. A lot of females not going to do that. 
they gonna be jealous of her because she has a beautiful amazing voice on her she has a beautiful soul but one thing she doesn't have is loyalty and without loyalty in this world you're not getting very far so i thank y'all for tuning in and stuff you know i mean like i said she gets she get this video then hey that's what it is but i can't i can't keep going on with this like me and Queen friendship was so powerful. Like, I swear, we used to think back in the day we was Destiny's Child with my friend Ariel. Like, we used to be like this in middle school. Like, soon we walk in, like, just recently, remember Lachey? We went to uh, El Mexicano's. And we went in there. Soon as we went in there, everybody, all the men looking at her. They turning their heads. I'm like, oh, Queen gonna get us the men tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm hype. And she like, I'm married. I'm like... Queen, you can still, you know what I'm saying, party and fool and stuff. You, you know, you can still fool, but it's the simple fact of, you know, you, you, you scared to be you. You scared to be you. And marriage is not a bad thing, but when you do it at such an early age and you forget about the people who really cared about you, then that's when everything go downhill. Like I said, I'm a phone call away. And I really hope that she, she talked to me, you know. I've been snapping this girl. I've been doing everything. And now that you done blew up, you don't know who nobody is. And to her mom, to Reva, you blocked me. But yet I was the only friend that actually was helping you and actually talking to you. You bash queen. You bash queen and Chris. You said that they they wasn't going to make it. You you said that queen was this and queen was that. And you could sit there and say, I've never did that. I guess you have, because I remember. I remember. I remember you bashing Chris. I remember you saying stuff, we going to go over there, we going to do this. Everybody used to think that they lived in this mansion or whatever. They was right there off of Vista Girl off of P-Walk. You serious right now, bro? Reason why they got out is because I asked her. I said, yo, that iPhone stuff. Because I remember seeing them iPhones. I needed an iPhone at the time. I'm just a new iPhone user. You know, they was trying to scheme me about that stuff. They, Chris tried to get me off of a car. It was a car that I'm like, oh, that car is sweet. I called him up. You know, he didn't answer. So I text him like, Chris, you still got that car or whatever. He like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You come and get it. You know, da, da, da. I mean, that's not how he said it, but I'm pretty sure that's how he sound. But... I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I trust my family. Okay, cool. He gonna get me up on a car. Man, to kind of find out that car, it wasn't worth it. You was trying to sell me a lemon, bro. And you would think that queen would have had my back like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. That's my sister. We can't get her. But I just think about, you got so many people that we know who got kids. You got people out of $600. People got kids. I mean, $600 ain't no petty money when we broke out here, dog. I mean, look. I can prove to you I ain't trying to get famous or nothing. I'm eating noodles for a living. Like, these noodles about to be good. I'm not trying to get famous. I'm, bro I'm broke right now. You know what I'm saying? All I do is work. I can't get on social media, get 2,000 views or whatever the case may be and be like, okay, we good. I could care less about that fame. Just give me my real people and we good over here. I mean, y'all, hey, to each his own. To each his own. You know what I'm saying, Lachey? I mean, I know there's some real people on here that know what I'm talking about and y'all listening to me. If you just go on there and look up Chris and Queen, all that social media stuff is fake. It's fake. Because at the end of the day, Chris and Queen, they could be so much more, but Chris try to make it seem like, oh, it's fake for social media. Nigga, you the one that put her up on this. Queen didn't even want it. She's not even the type of person that want to be in the limelight. How do I know? Because my first talent show, she was trying to cop up out of it. It was him. He the one talking about, baby, we got to sell these iPhones. We got to do this. Da, 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 da. We got to put this on social media. We got to da, 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 da. It was not her. Queen and I want to do that. That wasn't her. She's never, she's always been a good entertainer, but she was focusing on her music career more than anything. Have y'all noticed on every song that Queen and Chris make, Chris is first? He don't never include his wife first. And I just feel that's some bull, y'all. I mean, if I die, if I die and me and her don't talk on some real shit, if I die, and this is the last video I can make for y'all. And I can no longer talk about it no more. I just want her to not live in guilt. I forgive you for everything you've done to me. I forgive you for ignoring my cause. I forgive you for that time me, Mark, your honesty, um, star, or Jewel. Jewel, we was all in the hotel. And we woke up the next morning, you left. And y'all left the hotel a mess. And you took all of our money that night because of the simple fact you was broke. I forgive you. Because guess what? 
God bless me in so many more ways. I forgive you the time where you told me Keisha get dressed and I'm in the shower getting dressed and you tell me I'm around the corner and I'm like, okay, and I'm putting my shoes on. Then you tell me me and Chris about to go to the studio. And I'm like, I start crying. I forgive you. I forgive you for not accepting friend requests. I forgive you for, you know what I'm saying, lying. Making it seem like I was a bad friend. I forgive you for all of that. Why? Because I'm a strong person, you know. She always got mad at me because I didn't want to go to church. Because I feel like church is fake. Like, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. All of that. And y'all sitting over here, y'all the main demons. That ain't for me. I forgive you for everything you've done. I forgive you for, um, y'all may know him as Rose, Starlight, Javon. Everybody in the hood may know him. Uh, I forgive you when I liked him in middle, or high school, ninth grade, Lincoln Park. I forgive you because you knew I liked him, and yet you still you still pushed up on him. I forgive you for that, though. I do. I forgive you for when me and Angela was about to bang it on out, and you took her side instead of mine. I forgive you. I forgive you for so much stuff. Because I love you. And when you love a person, you will forgive them. But sometimes you can love a person from a distance. And that's what I've been doing. And I don't think it's fair that people like Chris can have the opportunity to be in your life and stay in your life. And mess your trust up, mess your loyalty up. But yet somebody like me, who has never did none of that, never messed with any of your boyfriends. I can't even get a simple, what's up, Marquisha? How you been? But like I said, I mean, hey. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the video. Um, I really appreciate it. Just if anybody could tag her in the comments. I mean, I was about to, but I look hit right now. And I'm I'm depressed. I miss her. I truly do. I'm trying to stop crying, but that video hurt me because it's like such a beautiful girl could get cheated on like that. Like, And I really don't look like this when I get dressed. I ain't even wash my ass. I'm on midnights and my sleep schedule is messed up. But she won't know that because she don't talk to me. I mean, these noodles and breakfast sandwiches for I don't know how long. I'm tired of this. Look what I drink. <laughs> Just tag her, you know what I'm saying? Just... I love y'all. So guys, you guys already watched it with me and you guys, it's a lot. Like, while I was watching this video, I can tell that this girl is actually her. Like I said, you guys need to consider what she's saying because most people go like, she's cloud chasing, she's this and that. But at the end of the day, the way this girl is sounding, it's like she's more so hurt and disappointed at her friend than trying to chase cloud and if she was really cloud chasing she was gonna post this on youtube not on her facebook life like you know so that's actually how i feel you know it really it's really how am i gonna say this it's really sad that some people can get famous and forget about the people that were there for them with them when they didn't have anything you know so, I, f I feel like if this is true, then this is really, really, really bad. And this is really, really disappointing coming from Queen, especially someone like Queen. Because I actually see Queen as a very good person, you know. Even though you guys already know, I posted a video about her cheating. And she actually admitted that she did talk to people. On that video, I told you guys I wasn't believing it. But then again, she posted a live. She was on live on Instagram and she mentioned the fact that she had also talked to other people as well. So, I don't know if it's a couple of both people cheating and cheating is just okay for them. Or, I don't know. But what I'm going to say is, I know she's not a saint. And knowing Queen, the way she talks around Chris and everything, you can tell that she does it because he's around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell that that's not who, really who she is. I don't have to know her personally to know that. But... It's kind of obvious when you see somebody on camera and the way they act on camera, you can tell. For instance, uh, Domo and Chrissy, I watch them and and um, I love them. But when you watch them, you can tell that Domo is the more outgoing person than Chrissy. You can tell that Chrissy is a bit shy, you know? So it's a bit like that with this situation. I feel like this whole YouTube was more of Chris's idea 
But then Quinn is just following along, you know what I'm saying? Like a follower, basically. But then again, I feel like Chris is a manipulator. And I feel like he's the one making her act this way. Straight up like that. Also, the fact that she mentioned that she was raped and like she used to get abused by her stepdad. I don't feel like it had to be in this video, you know, that's a bit personal, you know, even though you're mad, you're upset and all the stuff, I don't feel like that that information had to be on this video, okay? Uh, I'm going to keep it straight. I'm going to tell you guys how I feel. So I feel like that information should have not been in the video because that's her personal life. And also the fact that Chris is abusive physically, it doesn't shock me, honestly, because when you look at him, like, you can tell that when he gets mad, it's just something else. You know, even in those pranks. You know, I don't care if those pranks are staged or not, but you can tell that when he gets mad, it's a whole ball game. you know. I'm basically telling you guys how I feel about all this whole situation. So, that's how I feel. Um, that he's, he looks like the type of person that can actually put his hand on his wife or, you know, when he's mad, he can actually hit somebody. So, yeah, that's, that's what I think about him. And I don't think they want baby Chris to grow up seeing all those stuff, you know? He's still a child and he's a guy. So, if he sees his dad putting his hand on his mom and his mom letting that happen over and over and over, then he's most likely going to do it to his girlfriend because my mom took it. Why can't my girlfriend take it? You know what I'm saying? And I also feel like Quinn has daddy issues. If you guys don't know, daddy issue is when you didn't grow up with your per with your own father because growing up with your stepdad plus her stepdad was abusing her is not the same thing with growing up with your own father and your own making sure that your own father was treating her well so i feel like the fact that she didn't grow up with her own father is the reason why she feel like she needs the presence of a man you know like she needs a man around her like she needs a man around her like no matter what he does to her she's always taking him back because she feel like without him she's nobody you know that's what I'm saying. I feel like she has a self-esteem issue. Like, she doesn't see herself as high as she's supposed to. I feel like her self-esteem is pretty low, personally, by the way she makes video and the way she sounds. And by the way, we all know that they got back together after the recent cheating he did. But I'm not calling her dumb for that. I don't accuse her for coming back. At the end of the day, she said it's the last chance. So let's really see if it's really going to be the last chance. Or, do you, or did she only say it's the last chance because it appeared on the internet this time? You know what I'm saying? So... That's really how I feel about this whole situation. After this one, I'll be reacting to her second best friend that just posted a video like a couple hours ago. Because today is Chris's birthday. So a couple hours ago, she posted a video um, also stating how a queen has changed. And she actually said some good stuff on that video as well. So you guys make sure you check it out. It's a long video, okay? We're going to sit here for a while. It's like an hour video literally 59 minutes and 58 seconds like basically an hour video so we're gonna be sitting here for over an hour because y'all already know i'll be giving you guys my two cents and all the people coming in the comment section talking about some leave their relationship alone da, 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 da. first of all they are a public figure which means it's for the public to know and talk about if they wanted their relationship to be so private they didn't have to be on the internet just like i'm here talking to you guys some of you guys are like Calling me all types of names in the comment section, but what am I doing? Blocking you and deleting your comment, okay? You sat there and wrote for no reason. But I don't sit and, you know, complain because guess what? This is part of the job. You signed up for this. You're supposed to receive hate and good and good comments as well. So when it's hate, you delete the person or block the person or do both. And when it's good comments, you just give it a heart, like it, and respond. Like... That's just the job. So all those y'all little kids commenting down below, oh, like you just you just trying to bash them. I love Chris and Quinn, and I will always support them. I will still support them after all this. But then again, I'm I'm a reaction. I react like my channel. We do so many things, including reactions. So I'm gonna be reacting regardless. Y'all are mad. Oh no. Okay. Now let's turn up and go to the next next best friend a v video okay guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and also comment down below any type of reaction y'all would like me to do next i'll show i'll make sure i do so and i'll catch you guys on the next reaction video okay make sure you watch that one because it's lit and do not skip while watching this one either or the next one okay i love you guys till next time bye guys